somebody asked if I could do a how-to on how to hand sew a hem and I'm hoping that what I'm going to demonstrate to you today makes sense. This is for hand sewing so if you don't have a sewing machine but you need to maybe take up the hem on a pair of trousers or a dress or something fairly simple maybe even a cuff, you could all work on the same way, then this is how I would do a simple rehem. So I've taken an old top that I've got, um, it's in black so I've gone for a white thread so that you can see what I am doing. Now you can use pins if you want to make sure that you're not slipping and you can use a tape measure to make sure that the hem is the same length all the way round. Now because this top already has a seam line on it I'm going to use that as my gauge for turning it up. I'm going to imagine that I want to take up all this section to make this shorter. So all I'm going to do is fold it and if you can see there, there's a double stitch line which comes from that machine made overlock. And that's going to be my new hem. So first of all, I am going to tie a knot in the thread so that it doesn't slide all the way through as I'm sewing. So what I'm going to do is sew through, leave a tail, sew through a couple of threads, go through the loop, tie it tight and now you have a knot which now won't come undone as you sew along. So, now that is secure, what I'm going to do is start about, I make my threads about 5 mils wide and all you want to do here is on the other, on the main piece of the fabric that's going to show. You just need to pick up a couple of threads because what you don't want is to go all the way through the fabric because when you're wearing that item or you see the good side of that item you will see where you've sewn through and you'll see lots of little dots all the way around the hemline and that won't look right. So all you need to do is just pull through a couple of threads on the good side and then you can go right through on the hemline. Don't pull it too tight because otherwise your hem will end up looking buckled. and then just do the same again. So pick a couple of threads there and then go through on the matching side and away you go. This is a quick, easy, simple way to rehem something that will last. It's much better than using that iron-on tape because every time you wash something You've got to do it again. And as you get better at this, you'll get quicker. And just be sure that you're not pulling it too tight. So that it doesn't buckle. Now there are all different ways of doing this. Um, there are different ways of sewing loops but I'm just giving you a very basic way to quickly take up a hem that's maybe come loose or you found that something's too long and after you've done this when you're finished make sure that you iron everything nice and flat because that'll make it sit better this is all you need to do. And you can see there that it creates almost like a dotted line.
And I like sewing like this, I love hand sewing. It's very therapeutic in the same way that people do knitting and I can't knit to save my life. I'm too heavy handed, I've tried knitting and crocheting and I'm useless at it. And then when you get to the end, do exactly the same thing. So you've got your little thread there and then go through to your folded side and do the same loop. Tie a knot, run the needle between the layer there for about a centimetre, pull that through and then cut there because that way the tail won't run through the thread and very often I will do like two of those loops like a double knot and that's basically how you hem something and when it's ironed and it's flattened you see you won't see that because all you did on the other side was just nick a couple of threads rather than going all the way through I hope that helps um, if you have any questions do let me know I realise this may not answer what some people wanted uh, or what the person who asked for this wanted. I apologise, I can't remember your YouTube handle. Um, but this is how you can hand sew a hem. And look, it's pretty neat. And if I was doing that in black, you wouldn't be able to see that at all. I've just done it in white so that you can see the threads. And then you end up with a nice clean edge on the other side. And that will last. As long as you've tied your knots properly, it'll last. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, do let me know. And let me know if I've completely missed the point of what I was being asked to do. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know I'm pretty slapdash and I just get on with things. There's nothing fancy here, but I hope that's been helpful. Um, thank you for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.